Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking uh, what's new in Transformers because I love some freaking new Transformers and I love to talk about them, but I don't have them in hand. Just like to chit chat. So let's sit back and relax and uh, let's talk about some, uh, some Transformers. All right, all right, all right. Yay. All right, up first, as always, add on kits, add on kits, add on kits for days. And we got new stuff from Go Better. We got a jetpack kit for New Age Toys David, also known as Optimus Prime. So you get to reenact that, you know, one scene from the G1 cartoons. Looks like it's easy to put together. I think everything comes uh, with it except for the blast effects. I think those are come with the Seeker. So if you have the Seekers from New Age, you can use those as well. So pretty cool. You like that kind of thing? This is awesome. Go Better Jetpack Kit for New Age Toys. David, Optimus Prime gets to fly. And we got new stuff from Like Underscore Toys. This is a kit for G-Creation Sure King, the combiner, you know, the Dinobots combiner. And it looks like it's like a, you know, how Hotspot is doing for MMC. It's kind of like a skeleton, you know, so basically you can just, you know, use that and you can attach the uh, Dinobots to it. So you got the whole back of the legs, the chest and everything, the arm, uh, the hands uh, are part of it. And you also get a new head sculpt as well. Uh, so, you know, it's pretty cool. More stable, I guess, you know, it, you know, especially for, you know, parts, you know, parts forming makes it more stable. So it will last a little longer. Um, but I guess it's going for a kind of a cartoon look, I guess, even though they weren't in the cartoon. Well, I mean, they were, but they didn't combine. Um, but, you know, it's basically just a, you know, exoskeleton for it to attach the other Dinobots and to make it more, you know, stable and everything. Uh, that's why I think that's what we're going for. So there you go. Like Toys Kits for G-Creation Shuriken Combiner. And uh, yeah, Dinobots should not combine. All right. All right. So from Renderform, if you missed out on the TFCon LA Custom Class, you can pre-order their Custom Class kit uh, that made the Skeletron from, uh, you know, from the um, Beast Wars uh, Tigertron. Uh, so there's limited to 35 sets. Each kit will have the 3D resign, uh, uh, resign uh, printed parts and digital copy of the class instructions will be provided as well. The instructions will show you step by step how to paint your Skeletron figure along with the paints to use. The kits are going to be $20 each plus shipping. Uh, you can pre-order directly on his website, which I'll put that in the description if you want to go check it out and uh, see if there's any left. And uh, that's pretty cool. Looks really nice. So Renderform Skeletal, Skeletal Beast Kit uh, is up for pre-order right now. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, moving on to third party legends, and we got new picks of MPH Studios. This is their uh, Optimus Prime. You got the uh, Ultra Magnus, the Sleep or Dead Prime, and you also got Toxitron. Now, I just ordered the Optimus Prime, so hopefully, I'll get that pretty soon. If I like it, I may go get the Toxitron too, as well. Uh, maybe the Ultra Magnus, too. I don't know. They look pretty cool, but yeah, you get to see them in bot mode. They're alt mode, or the you know, bot mode and alt mode, and you also get to see the box as well when they come in. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to, uh, you know, reviewing the Optimus Prime and hopefully I like it. If I do, I may go back and get the other one. So there you go. MPH Studios, this is Commander of their Optimus Prime, Ultra Magnus, Sleep Prime, and Toxitron. And we got some new picks of the DX9 Toys DX9 Mini 01 Vasily or uh, their double dealer. Now this is the um, new painted version. Um, I have the original, the first one that came out, it's not the painted version, but this one has, you know, better paint, which usually Magic Square does, you know, Magic Square and DX9 are together now, and, um, or they've been together, uh, but they usually put out one, you know, regular one, then they put out one with better paint and everything, kind of an EX version, basically of what they do. So yeah, looks pretty good. I like it. I, you know, a lot of people have told me, or a couple people have told me that I need to get this one because it's a whole lot better with the paint on it, and I probably will. Uh, but yeah, this is DX9, and this is uh, Vasily, or their double dealer, and it's got a new paint job. It looks pretty freaking sweet. And we got a little teaser for New Age Toys XM2 Duel. This is going to be Dark of the Moon uh, Megatron, but this is not going to be uh, Legend scale. It's going to be MP scale. I just put it in there uh, for Legend because it's New Age. Uh, now, they already done one before. They did uh, Dark of the Moon Soundwave as well. I had him, or I have him, and he's okay, I guess. Um, so I, I may pick this guy up too as well. I do like the truck mode with them and everything. And I like the paint and everything that they're going to do with them. It kind of looks like it's got a rusty kind of feel to it. So looks pretty good so far. And uh, so yeah, this is New Age Toys XM2 Duel. This is going to be Dark of the Moon Megatron and he's going to be MP scale. All right. And it looks like fourth party MHZ Toys have knocked off Wheelie from the Studio Series 86. And you also get a nightstick. Uh, looks like clear translucent uh, blue plastic, which I really like that. I may get this just for that. Uh, but yeah, this is MHZ Toys. And uh, they, like I said, they knocked off Wheelie. You get a little pistol and you get the little um, slingshot. And like I said, you also get the uh, nightstick as well. Uh, it's on TF Safari for about $16.99. So not too, you know, not too shabby. So there you go. MHZ, four-party Wheelie. All right. Good stuff, I guess. 
All right, moving on to third party and MP news. We got new stuff from Fans Hobby. We got the Shield team, and we get to see them in the Shield. And it looks like you get two pieces, so you can either display it with them, you know, showing the mini the mini cons, or you can have that little cover that goes over it, and it makes it look more cartoonish, I guess. Uh, looks pretty cool. It's five millimeters and everything. And you also see them in uh, the bot mode and alt modes as well. And uh, I'm excited. I love that they're, you know, they're throwing in the, uh, you know, mini cons for the Armada stuff. That's awesome. And uh, I really hope we get some more stuff. I know we're getting the sword as well. So I do hope we get some more teams. I think they're called the Sky Boom team. Every time I mention Boom, I always, mention, I always uh, think of the Boom Boom Room from uh, when Eddie Murphy said that in life. And that's a funny movie with Martin Lawrence and Bernie Mac. Man, the Boom Boom Room. Come on now. So there you go. That's Fans Hobby and that's the Sky Boom or the Shield team. And we got a new pick from Transarts Toys. This is BWM-10 Dinosaur, or their Transmetal 2 Dinobot. Uh, last week I showed the head sculpt for the bot mode. Now we get to see the head sculpt in a little bit of the body from uh, the alt mode. It looks pretty good. Really excited for that. Love some Transarts Toys. So there's BWM-10 Dinosaur. This is Transmetal 2 Dinobot. Hurry up and get my collection. And we got some freaking new awesome new picks from Touch Toys. This is HQ Don B.E. Hellbird. Uh, this is what uh, Hound from the Bayverse should look like. I love it. So he goes along with the, you know, their uh, Carefree, uh, the Jet. I think Starscream should have looked like that in the Bayverse as well. But this thing looks freaking awesome. I love it. It looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt to transform, just like Carefree was as well. But man, bot mode looks good. The alt mode looks good. Tons of weapons. He just looks badass. So yeah, definitely, definitely can't wait to get this in my collection. This is Touch Toys HQ9BE Hellbird. And man, he looks freaking awesome. I like it. All right, moving on to official Transform news. And we got new picks from Prime One Studios. This is Premium Master Line Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Megatron or Dragon Megatron. And man, my God, this thing looks spectacular. My God, huge. So much details. I mean, the statues, you know, are really nicely done from Prime One Studios. Really expensive. This probably costs at least two to 3000 maybe. I don't know for sure, but... Man, look at that base with the fire coming out. Look at the details on this thing. Wow, just wow. If you're a big Megatron fan and Beast Wars fan, you definitely have to get this. So this is Prime One Studios Premium Master Line Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Dragon Megatron. And man, looks spectacular. Wow, breathtaking. All right, so it looks like Legacy United Wave 2 Core Class Beast Machines Cheetor was found at US Retail. My boy Extra Zero actually found that. And uh, this was in a Target in Maryland, so uh, happy hunting. All right, so we get some in-hand images of the Takara Dramatic Catcher Series Nemesis Bridge set. The set gives us a look at the box set, uh, includes some nice artwork showcasing all the including Septicons, which has Megatron, Shockwave, Soundwave, and Laserbeak, plus art of the Nemesis ship itself. You get the, you know, the throne and everything. They also show figures, premium redecals of the previous Warp Soptron mold still in packaging. So man, how many times has this Megatron been done? At least 10 times, I think. Maybe more than that. I don't know for sure. I have a lot of them, so, you know, I can't say anything bad. But, you know, if you like this kind of thing and you like the premium kind of, uh, you know, you know, paint and everything, this will be your set. So there you go. in -heat images of Takara Dramatic Capture Series Nemesis Bridge, and it should be coming out pretty soon. Awesome. And it looks like Studio Series 86 Blaster and Eject found at Target in California. So, yeah, but a street date of March 31st. So if you do find it, I think they're finding Wheeljack 2 as well, uh, but they won't sell them to you until the 31st. But uh, happy hunting. <laughs> and we got some new pics of Legacy United Commander Magmatron. All right. Photos show off the imposing Predacon leader as uh, all of his modes, robot, dinosaurs, and Magmasaurus, as well as posed with his accessories. Uh, so he should be coming out pretty soon. Looks pretty cool. Except for the uh, combined mode with the, uh, you know, alt mode. That doesn't look that good. But, you know, I like the combined mode for the bot mode. Looks good. So there you go. This is Legacy United Commander Magmatron. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And we also have some new in hand images of the highly anticipated Legacy United Titan Tidal Wave. Uh, John Armada Decepticon is shown off here in all his modes, including combination with Megatron. And man, this thing looks freaking awesome. Um, I hope he's not going to be so back heavy with uh, Megatron, but it looks like he's standing okay, you know. But they can, you know, pictures you can do whatever you want with it. Um, but I, I hope that he's not going to be back heavy with all that stuff on him. Uh, but it looks good. I'm excited for this. So this is Legacy United Titan uh, Tidal Wave from Armada. And man, hurry up and get my collection. Let's go. And we get our first official images of Hot Wheels Skate Transformer Bumblebee. Uh, we did see the Decepticons and uh, the Megatron Starscream and Soundwave skateboards. Now we get to see, uh, you know, Bumblebee. I'm sure we'll see uh, Prime and I don't know who the other one is going to be. 
uh, more than likely probably jazz or something like that so that's pretty cool so there you go hot wheel skate transformers bumblebee first official images and it looks like we got some tidbits from transformers one gimmick toy line this is a new movie coming out uh got subscriptions this included our transformers one battling figures we got the one two in one mask we got the one step cog changers one mega changers and one prime changers uh, also, thanks to the listing, we also are able to decode to confirm that codename Admiral is Optimus Prime. So that's pretty cool. So there you go, tidbits from Transformers 1 gimmick toy line. And we got some in-hand images of Transformers Masterpiece MP56 Plus Rigorous. Uh, this is the yellow uh, Trailbreaker uh, redeco with a retool head inspired by the Die Clone number no. 5 robot uh, four, four wheel drive yellow variant. We have a clear image of the packaging in robot mode. Uh, information states that it is a, uh, is a Decepticon medic. It comes with a force field effect and a double missile accessory, but it doesn't have any Decepticon insignia on the additional sticker. So, well, okay, pretty cool. So there you go. In hand images of Masterpiece MP56 Plus Rigorous. And that's a yellow trailbreaker. All right. And we got some new stuff from New Zealand Mint official Transformer 40th anniversary, anniversary silver coins. Mint has freely released one ounce coins in pure silver. Uh, G1, Optimus Prime, Megatron, Bumblebee, and Grimlock. Now they offer silver poster coins uh, featuring the classic G1 Marvel issue number one cover art and nice G1 retro packing as well. There are two versions available. You get the five ounce silver uh, poster, uh, poster coin for $500, limited to 200 uh, units, planned to be released of April 2024. Then you get the one ounce silver poster coin for $150, limited to 1984 units, which is pretty cool. Planned to be released April 2024 as well, but it's already sold out, so that's that sucks. But um, I'll put the link if you want to, you know, uh, go order the uh, five ounce silver poster coin and have a chance to get that. That'd be pretty cool. So there you go, with New Zealand Mint official 40th anniversary silver coins. And the last thing we're going to talk about, we got new in-hand images of the new Target Optimus Prime and Autobot Bullseye for your viewing pleasure. The redeco of the Laser Prime, Cab, and Earthrise Prime trailer in the Target themed colors, along with the reuse of the Siege Ravage cassette molded as Bullseye. We have some very nice pics of all figures in robot and alt mode. Um, the figure at Target exclusive and pre-orders are still up on Target's website. So if you want to go get that, I think it's like 80 bucks or something, like 70 or 80, maybe 60 or 70. I forgot off the top of my head. But there you go. in hand images of Target, Optimus Prime, and Autobot Bullseye. And I don't think he's a tape either. I think he's like a card, like a gift card or something. So, you know, that's cool if you like that kind of thing. All right, folks, that's all this week for news. And man, once again, jam-packed full of great stuff. I'm so excited for everything, man. It's just awesome. Maybe not the Target Optimus Prime. Probably I passed on that. I did start to pre-order it, but then I was like, eh, I'm good. If I see it in Target, maybe for, you know, cheap or something on sale, I may pick it up. But yeah, definitely not for like 60 or 70 bucks. So there you go. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments if you're excited for any of this stuff. And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Help freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.